In this ultra-spiritual guitar lesson, we are going to learn how to train your brain. Oh, goodness me, oh my. Hello, 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 everybody. So, in this time of problems, I'm listening to podcasts. And I'm listening to one on neuroplasticity. What? Neuroplasticity is how you learn stuff. So what I'm going to tell you here is a lot of people, when they're playing the guitar with the finger style, they find the thumb part really hard to do. So the whole idea is to realize that neuroplasticity is the pathway to learning stuff. So what you do, it's your brain and your hands and your muscles and your bones working together to make this stuff happen. Now I can do it because I've been doing it a lot. So it's just six, four, six, four, six, four, six, four, six, four. Do that. Just do it over and over again until it becomes like riding a bicycle. Now that's a G chord. Now, the other thing to understand is that when we are playing the guitar the way in the blues, the rock and rolls, and the folk music, it's one, four, five. One being the first chord, so that's a G. And then the four would be G, A, B. Then the fourth would be a C. And the fifth would be a D. So that's in like Dennis. One, and then the C chord. Four, and then the five is a D. And I picked up my, my middle finger. And then... Boom. So that hand is also doing the neuroplasticity thing because what you're doing is you're learning to go from that shape to this shape to this shape. And honestly, the... If you, you have to play the G chord with your pinky on the high string, by the way. So if you notice that your ring finger and your middle finger and your index finger, when you're doing that, are already in the C shape. So all you have to do is move it down and put the index finger down. And then the D shape is different. So when we're playing the finger style. On the G, we play the four and the six. And then on the C, we play the fifth and the fourth. On the D, we play the fourth and the third. play the pinky, you play the index. I use my middle finger, and I'm going to use my middle finger because I use the middle finger, but most people use the index finger. So, again, what you're doing is you're learning to the physical, your brain is processing the physical activity. It's called neuroplasticity, and your brain is actually changing and being able to do the new thing. And the more you do it, the more your brain can handle it. And then you throw in the high, the, the, the melody. So it's one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I didn't do the end one. One and two and three and four and 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 five and eight and twelve and thirteen, fifteen, nineteen, hundred, fifteen, thirty-two for you. 
So that's just a basic lesson in how to play um, G, C, D, and how to understand that the neuroplasticity is the key to your brain and your hands coordinating the behavior of playing the git box. You play your git box by learning your brain or teaching your brain to be insane. practice your guitar and train your brain. Train your brain, train your brain.